Welcome to Rutgers University, the new home of New Jersey Future Business Leaders of America, Phi Beta Lambda. I'm Nancy Ostrowski, the state chair, and, what we'd, li and we'd like to welcome you to the New Jersey Phi Beta Lambda State Leadership Conference. Welcome to the awards banquet of the annual and Phi Beta Lambda State Leadership Conference. It is my great pleasure to introduce your 2014-2015 state officers. Please hold all applause until all officers have been introduced. 2014-2015 membership director, Danielle Whitman from Ocean County College. You knew what was coming, huh? Yeah. 2014-2015 secretary, Tim Mantua from Ryder University. Two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen, State Vice President Devon McCurry from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. And I am your two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen, State President Frank Kellogg from Ryder University. Will the newly elected 2015-2016 state officers please stand when your name is called? Membership Director, Danielle Whitman from Ocean County College. Yeah! Secretary, Depeche Desai, Rutgers University, Newark. Vice President Jason Lim from Rutgers University. <laughs> President Devon McCurry, Rutgers University. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to introduce guests who have joined us joined us this evening. Thank you for coming. Would all judges, speakers, professional division members, and event sponsors please stand and be recognized at this time? <laughs> and a special thank you to Ms. Nancy Ostrowski, Ms. Megan Fishwick, and the members of Rutgers University New Brunswick chapter of PBL for their assistance in implementing today's leadership conference. Would Ms. Ostrowski, Ms. Fishwick, and the Rutgers PBL members please stand? Oh. <laughs> Also welcome Kevin Score, National PBL Secretary. He will be our Master of Ceremonies this evening. The state president will present these awards. When your name is called, please come and accept your award from the presenter. If an individual award winner is not here, a chapter representative should come forward to accept the award. As chapter events are announced, will the winning chapter please send one representative forward to accept the award. As you know, tonight's top winners will represent New Jersey on the national level. At this time, Mrs. Ostrowski will tell us about the NLC this summer. Okay, I will tell you about the NLC this summer. <laughs> okay, the National Leadership Conference for 2015 will be held in Chicago, Illinois. PBL Institute for Leaders Conference will be held on June 23rd and 24th, and the National Conference will be held June 24th to June 27th. Each chapter will be sent a National Leadership Conference eligibility form by mail, or by email, and this form will outline the number of entries New Jersey PBL may have at each event on the national level. If a chapter has winners in tonight's events, 
the name of the winner should be entered on the form if he or she will be participating at the national conference. This form should then be sent back to the state office. Now, please recognize all winners with the enthusiasm that makes New Jersey Phi Beta Lambda so great. Remember, tonight's winners are New Jersey's best. And we will start with Who's Who in PBL. This event honors PBL members who have made outstanding contributions to the association at the local, state, and national levels. This award is sponsored by the Professional Division of New Jersey FBLA PBL. First, Frank Kellogg from Rider University. <laughs> Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Danielle Whitman, Ocean County College. Yeah! 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 We'll move to the largest local chapter membership award, Professional Division. Effective state and national programs depend upon membership support and growth from all divisions. An increased local level professional membership base provides resources for the expansion of service to local chapters. Membership recruitment offers chapters a worthwhile experience in public relations and leadership. Recognition of this award is given to those chapters that have attained the largest listing of professional members. Rutgers University, New Brunswick. <laughs> and the largest local chapter membership. Effective state and national programs depend upon membership support and growth. Increased membership provides resources for the expansion of service to local chapters. Membership recruitment offers experience in public relations and leadership, and recognition is given to those local chapters that have attained the largest membership in New Jersey PBL. This award goes to Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Okay, Outstanding Local Member Award. This award honors PBL local members who have made the most outstanding contributions to the association at the local, state, and possibly national levels. The first award goes to Sunny Sheath from Rutgers Business School, New Brunswick. Stefan Fabiano from the College of New Jersey. <laughs> Nina Rogers, Ocean County College. This award honors PPL local officers who have made the most outstanding contributions to the association at the local, state, and possibly national levels. The first award recipient is Elizabeth Barnett. Yeah. Yeah. Christopher Arley from the College of New Jersey. Susan Bell, Ocean County College. Yeah. Chapter goes to Rutgers University, New Brunswick. <laughs> the next award is our five years of service award, and this goes to Dean Martin Markowitz from Rutgers University, New Brunswick.
Our next award this evening is the Chapter Professional of the Year. This award goes to Patty Karlovich from the College of New Jersey. And Anthony Campanile from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. And I have one more chapter professional of the year, that is Stephen Cuccinelli from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. <laughs> and next we'll move on to uh, chapter awards for membership equalization. Effective state and national programs depend upon membership support and growth. Continued growth enables the expansion of the service and materials for local chapters. This event recognizes chapters that equalize their previous school's membership. Will, the, will a representative from the following schools come forward? Berkeley College. Oh, or just stand, sorry. Just stand. Berkeley College, Ocean County College, Ryder University, and Rutgers University of New Brunswick. and membership expansion. This event recognizes chapters who expand their previous school year's membership by four members by February 20th of the current school year. And this is Berkeley College, Ocean County College, and Rutgers University of New Brunswick. Okay, and now we'll move on to the individual and team testing events. And for each of these, please have uh, individual, if you're, if you're one of the members from your school is not present to come up for the award. Make sure that you send a representative. And we will start with accounting principles. Okay. And with third honors, we have Nicole Alexander from the College of New Jersey. And as the recipients are coming forward, I'm going to continue with the names to get us on a good pace this evening, okay? Perfect. And second place, we have Eric Go from Rutgers, New Brunswick. And first, Shane Car Carroll from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Okay, moving on, we're going to business communications. For third place, can I have Roma Shah from Stevens, Stevens Institute of Technology, please come forward. And in second place, Adina Fersai from Rutgers University of And in first place for business communications, Nicole Pesek from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Okay, and in business decision making, in first place, can I have Adina Farsai, Samantha George, Raul Patel from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, please come forward. Okay, moving on to business ethics. In second place, can I have Nirmali Pimatsa and Sahidi yeah. Tala? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sahidi. From Rutgers University of Brunswick.
And in first place in business ethics, can I have Jaslyn Feliciano and William Jimenez and Berkeley Collette come or from Berkeley Collette come forward. Apologize for that. <laughs> okay, moving forward into business law. In second honors, Christian Tavares from Ocean. <laughs> and in first place, Jose Rodriguez from Rockford University of In third place, can I please have from Berkeley College, Moanne Arlette, Nadika Ruby, Kristen Young, come forward, please. Okay. And in second place, uh, Stephen Fabiano, Amber Tutman from the College of New Jersey. And in first place, Sunny Sheep from Rutgers University. And moving forward, we have Business Sustainability. From Rutgers University, New Brunswick, can I have Amit Kulkarni and Sunny Sheep, please? Oh, first one. Our next event will be Client Services. In second place, Bianca Corneo from Ocean County College. Yeah! And in first place, Christy Corso, also from Ocean County College. Computer applications. Will Matthew Manigal from Rutgers University be run to the second place in computer applications? And in first place from Rutgers University, Newark, Kathleen McGowan. Our next event this evening will be Computer Concepts. In third place, we have R.P. Shah from Rutgers University. Yeah. Of <laughs> and in second, pla second place, Nikhal Samar from Rutgers University. Of And first place for computer concepts, Matt Manigold from Rutgers University. Okay, moving forward, we have contemporary sports issues. In second place, Uzar Salit from Rutgers University. And in first place, also from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, here in Patel. <laughs> and our next event is Desktop Publishing. In second place, from the College of New Jersey, Nicole DeQuintel, please come forward.
Okay, and then Jacqueline Senna, also from the College of New Jersey. And they both actually got first place. I had a problem there. Okay, moving forward, we have entrepreneurship concepts. In third place, Devon McCurry from Rutgers, New Brunswick. Second place, from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Jose Rodriguez. And in first place, Stefan Fabiano from the College of New Jersey. Our next event is financial analysis and decision making. In third place, we have Nita Lambachi and Vivek Reddy from Rutgers University of New Brunswick. In second place, also from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Manasa Chinta, Arsha Prep, and Sonam Rao. And in first place, from the College of New Jersey, Matthew Hellerbright and Tim Yang. Concepts. In third place, William Chang from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. In second place, Tracy Zhao from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. And in first place for financial concepts, Chris Ferrari from the College of New Jersey. Now we'll move on to financial services. Vivek Reddy for second place from Rutgers University of Brunswick. And in first place, David Inga from Stevens Institute of Technology. In third place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Tafik Shilawala. In second place, also from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Mantu Patel. And in first place, John King from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. In hospitality management, in first place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Asad Ghani, Anuj Patel, and Mantu Patel. Please come forward. Next event this evening is Human Resources Management. For second place from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, John King and Tafik Shilawala. And in first place, also from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Samantha George. Impromptu speaking, 
For third place from Ryder University, Neha Patel, please step forward. From Rutgers, yeah, from Rutgers. And in second place for, him, or for impromptu speaking, Chris Zia from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. And in first place from Ryder University, Dana McAllister. From Stevens. And our next event is information management. For third place, Edward Weldon from the College of New Jersey. Sam, told you, but good job. In second place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Sahitha Talagat Daddy. And in first place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, William Chet. <laughs> Our next event this evening is Integrated Marketing Campaign. For second place, whom we have from Ocean County College, Davina Resto, please step forward. <laughs> and for first place from Ocean County College, Edward Day and Alberto Candia, please step forward. You split the teams up. Business in first place, Maxine Zidano from Rutgers, New Brunswick. <laughs> and our next event this evening is job interview uh, for third place from Ocean County College, Ted Wingender. In second place, Ramajit Manga from the Rutgers New Brunswick. And in first place for job interview, Peter Chapacante from Rutgers New Brunswick. Chapter Annual Business Report. In second place, Ryder University. And in first place, Rutgers New Brunswick.
Our next event is Management Analysis and Decision Making. In first place from Rutgers New Brunswick, Anusha Reddy. Our next event this evening is Management Concepts. In third place from Ryder University, Ruben Danza. Yeah! And in second place, Dar Singh from Rutgers University. And first place in management concepts from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, George Janowski. Our next event is marketing analysis and decision making. For second place from Ocean County College, Nicholas Lane. Yeah! And first place, Elizabeth Barnett and Jay Camino from Rutgers University. Our next event is Marketing Concepts. In third place, Nicole Alexander from the College of New Jersey. In second place, Catherine Meyer from Rutgers University New Brunswick. And in first place from Rutgers University New Brunswick, Zoom Wing Lei. And our next event is Microeconomics. In third place, from the College of New Jersey, Emma Van Der Heijen. In second place, from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Athar Katu. And in first place in Microeconomics, Tracy Zhao from the College of New Jersey. And our next event this evening is Mobile Application Development. In second place from Rutgers New University, New Brunswick, Mikhail Samar. And in first place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Arpit Shah. Oh, they are actually both first place. <laughs> okay, our next event is Organizational Behavior and Leadership. In second place from the College of New Jersey, Jennifer Dahl. And in first place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Siraj Nazari. And our next event this evening, Personal Finance. In third place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Samantha Rao. In second place from the College of New Jersey, Amber Tittman. And in 
first place from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Fred Kazan. Moving forward to project management. In third place from Stevens Institute of Technology, Sarvesh Shah. In second place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Catherine Meyer. And in first place from the College of New Jersey, Jennifer Dahl. And our next event is public speaking. In third place from Ocean County College, William Mikowski. In second place from Ocean County College, Danielle Baxter. Rutgers University New Brunswick, Chris Zia. Our next event will be Parliamentary Procedures. And in second place, we have Rutgers University New Brunswick. And in first place, we have Ryder University. Okay, our next event is Retail Management. In first place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Zhu Ling Mei. Sales presentation will be up next. In second place from Ocean County College, Ryan Tompkins. And in first place from Rutgers, from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Jason Lynn. from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Elizabeth Barnett. And in first place, from Ocean County College, Danielle Wesley. Social media campaign. In first place from Ocean County College, Danielle Whitman, Nina Rogers, and Chaya Hines. <laughs> Our next event is sports management and marketing. In third place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, here at Patel.
in second place from Ocean County College, Edward Day. And in first place from Rutgers, New Brunswick, George Janowski. Our next event is Website Design. In first place, Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Anusha Reddy and Malvika Barmat. <laughs> Our next event is Word Processing. In third place from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Asad Ghani. In second place from the College of New Jersey, Shreya Bora. And in first, first place from Rutgers University of New Brunswick, Shandit Manhirala. Now for future business executive. In first place from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, Peter Ch Chaficante. <laughs> and at this time, Ms. Nancy Ostrowski will install our 2015-2016 officer team. There was one more award that somehow was left off um, of the script. The outstanding local advisor is Dr. Patricia Wallace from um, the College of New Jersey. Okay, will the 2015-2016 officer team please step forward? Lighting the smallest candle symbolizes a chapter in its entirety with all its members working together. With this symbol, we shall 
charge each officer to do the job for which he or she has been elected. Daniel Whitman, Membership Director. of the New Jersey State Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda. In electing you to this office, the members have shown their faith in your business ability and your honesty. Do you promise to keep active records of all membership activities and to present orderly reports upon request? I now declare you in the name of the New Jersey Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda, the membership director. You have been elected Secretary of the New Jersey State Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda. Accepting this office obligates you to be present and to keep a record of what takes place at every meeting. You accept the responsibility and promise to fulfill your duties to the best of your ability. I now declare you in the name of the New Jersey State Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda the Secretary. Ms. Yellow symbolizes constancy in attending and keeping members informed of the chapter's progress. Jason Young, Vice President. You have been elected Vice President of the New Jersey State Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda. Your duty will be to assume the responsibilities in the absence of the President. Will you strive to carry out the duties of this office? I now declare you in the name of the New Jersey State Chapter of God in London, the Vice President. This orange candle is the symbol of the harmony and faithfulness which should characterize your efforts in working with the President to carry out the ideals of this chapter. Devon Curry, President. have bestowed upon you a great honor in electing you their president. Your major responsibility is to lead and encourage the New Jersey State Chapter in all its activities. It is your duty to preside at all meetings and to see that they are conducted in accordance with the bylaws and correct principles of parliamentary practice. Do you accept this responsibility and promise to fulfill your duties to the best of your ability? I now declare you I now declare you in the name of the New Jersey State Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda State President. chapter and its members. You have heard the vows taken by your officers of the New Jersey State Chapter. In your presence, I now declare you officially installed as officers of the New Jersey State Chapter of Phi Beta Lambda for 2015-2016 year. which add the position of webmaster were passed. So we have one more um, appointed position, which um, is our first webmaster. And David Inga of Stevens Institute was um, uh, nominated and appointed to this office.
Hello, New Jersey PDL. Hello, Frank. Hey, Frank. I got three minutes, guys. I love being president of New Jersey PDL, and I wish I could do it forever. Now, we all know that nothing lasts forever, but being able to express that feeling with my words is the next best thing. My term will conclude, will conclude shortly, and so it's time to bid farewell. But before I do that, I have this golden opportunity to appreciate all those who made PDL successful this year. Mom and Dad, thank you for joining us tonight. You have both played a crucial role in giving me the power to step up to the challenge. You have helped me attend three national conferences, which has certainly helped me earn this place at the podium. I hope you have enjoyed all my PBL stories and accomplishments, and look forward to making them proud for more years to come. Throughout PBL, I've become known for making analogies, so I've created this one. Ms. Fishwick and Ms. Ostrowski, you have both been the souped up V8 engine that drives our success. Through our officer team, though our officer team provides a fuel and spark, without the engine we would go nowhere. Thank you both for all of your long hours of planning and coordinating. Let's hear it from Ms. Ostrowski and Ms. Fishwick. PBL members in attendance. Without you, there's no conference. In the morning, you arrive not knowing what to expect. Will you win? Will you make me friends? Or will we have a power outage? <laughs> well, one thing is true. We all gain another line for our resume and another story for our next big interview. Most importantly, I know the effort it takes to run a successful chapter. And for that, I thank you all for continuing to support New Jersey PBL. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Last and certainly the greatest, my fellow state officers, Tim Mansour, Daniel Whitman, and Devon McCurry. Tim, you've shared many PBL experiences. The funniest one is when the fire alarm went off at 2 a.m. during our first state officer training, and we both jumped up in complete shock. <laughs> On a more serious note, you have done an exemplary job of creating our publicizers and giving us your wisdom on parliamentary procedure. I'm excited to see what you accomplish as a young professional. Danielle, I have known you since Ocean County College. We've led campus tours, traveled the country for conferences, and now we're concluding our terms as state officers. You have been an irreplaceable asset to our team and your initiative is recognized by all of us. You have grown so much as a PBL leader and to help you realize new heights of my leadership potential. And Devon, you may not remember this, but the fir our first interaction was on Facebook. You said that my PBL story was inspiring. Who would have thought that Facebook message would make us such a cohesive team, and beyond that, make us great friends? We share many fond memories, from our bi-weekly strategy calls to our sprint in Washington, D.C. After getting to know you, I think it's fair to say that your story is a true inspiration. Let's applaud my incredible teammates. <laughs> Time to end with a bang. In a leadership conference, I believe you should take away one great lesson in leadership. Since I've been leading for the past year, I offer you this one. Be flexible, be committed, and be passionate. We all join PBL for many different reasons, but wherever your paths take you, be flexible, be committed, and be passionate. 
and successful followings. I truly hope that my term as state president has made a positive impression on you. Farewell, New Jersey PBL. State President for New Jersey 5 Beta Lambda. We just finished our annual state leadership conference here at Rutgers Business School. Um, I go to Ryder University representing the chapter there and we have Devon McCurry from Rutgers New Brunswick. Danielle Whitman from Ocean County College. And Kevin Thor from the University of Nebraska Lincoln. And I'm here representing the National Association as the PBL National Secretary. Just here to support New Jersey at their state leadership conference today. Really exciting day full of conferences and full of our workshops, of testing events, and just really enjoyable day all together. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could hear a little bit about the 2015-2016 uh, the state officer here, Danielle and Devon. Yes, Devon is our new elected president. I'm membership director once again. Um, I would also just like to do a shout out to thank you to our officer team, new and old. Our State officer who came, national officer who came to visit us. Our TV station from Ocean County College is here today filming, as well as congratulations to all of our winners. <laughs> 